Well, yeah. you're talking about one of my all-time favorite shows, which apparently is not handled right the way they've been doing it recently. But at the time, <clears throat> not at the time that I thought of it, way before that, there used to be a comic strip called Terry and the Pirates. Super comic strip drawn by a man called Milton Caniff, C-A-N-I-F-F, fabulous artist. And that had a young boy in it, an adventurer, and a sexy gal called Jezebel, I think. And it always was in my mind. So when the, so this particular year, because every year you have to think of something new. This particular year, one of the things I developed was Johnny Quest. And to sell it, I did something I hadn't done before. I got a three-minute piece of animation done to illustrate what I was talking about. And the whole look of it was comic book style, you know, real super looking guys and vehicles and people like that. So I did three and a half minutes, put in all the sound effects, put in music, really gave a piece of film when I went to New York. And we set up a date with one of the agencies and we went in and we played that and I gotta tell you, it knocked them out of their chairs because I had effects and I had crashing and I had boats chasing each other. I had lizard men climbing over the rail. Real action adventure, the first that anybody ever did and sold the show on that piece of film. So that was the Johnny Quest direction, which has since now opened up in many directions. People with these superheroes now with guns with 42 barrels on it and arms and armor and all that stuff. Where are these people coming from, you know? Anyhow, Johnny Quest had a, all the action and adventure, but also had a, a, a relationship between the father and son. And uh, it, was, it was identifiable. You can't identify with some of these things that come out with armor and guns and swords come out of their arms and crawly hands, and you go, holy mackerel there, you know? I can do that, you know? I can do that as well as anybody else, anyway. So that's the Johnny Quest story there. And they just made another 65 half hours of it. 